This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by HostGator. Starting small companies, is it worth it? I'm Jay Adelson, and I'm the founder and chairman of Revision 3. I've started and built a number of companies. My goal in this show is to pass on some of the knowledge from my experiences to you, the budding entrepreneurs, and hopefully leave you with some words of wisdom. Today's question comes from Michael who asks, Hi Jay, I'm an idea guy and I love coming up with e-commerce startups, but I'm not interested in growing a huge company. Is there a strategy for starting small e-commerce sites and then selling them for say 200,000? Michael, you're asking something that plagues me about American entrepreneurism in particular. This is a country that was founded largely on uh, entrepreneurs who started small businesses and eventually grew them or chose not to and they helped their local community and they certainly were worth uh, investing uh, money into. The, the challenge is, is that particularly for tech investments and e-commerce sites and, and the sorts of starts you're talking about, a lot of them take a lot more capital and so where do you go for that capital? You can't go to the banks anymore because unfortunately the banks aren't lending for small businesses so you end up going to venture capital, and venture capitalists want huge companies. You don't have the option to try and start a small business. So the answer to your question is really not that it's not worth doing, but make sure it's something you can afford doing. If you have the money to build the small company, and that might require a lot less capital, let's say less than half a million dollars to get things started, hiring a few people. Sometimes the startup costs for an e-commerce site are identical, whether it's going to be a huge company or small. So if you have enough money for the startup costs and you don't have to go to an investor who's expecting a hundred times return with a giant exit, then yes, um, I, think, I think it's worth pursuing. And as far as selling it later for a couple hundred thousand dollars, you know, a small business is usually worth more than a couple hundred thousand dollars. I think, you know, if I sort of read between the lines of your question, what you really want to do is be able to start really small, simple e-commerce sites as an engine and just sort of crank them out and sell them for cheap as just a, you know, a way to, to make some money. I've seen things like that. It's sort of a step above domain squatting. It, it can be done, but you need then a platform that allows the development of those websites for ridiculously low amounts of money and very, very uh, small or short uh, time frames to get to prototype. If you can do that, then sure, you can create e-commerce sites, show some revenue coming in, show some growth, and then sell them to companies that are actually aggregating them together or rolling them up. This is a practice I've seen um, done with some success, but it doesn't change at all the need for your business to actually have actual customers and actual revenue growth. In a minute, we'll talk a little bit more about small companies, but first let's thank our sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by HostGator. Looking for a place to launch or blog a website? Frustrated with customer support at your current hosting provider? Go with HostGator and get up and running in minutes with plans starting at just $3.96 a month. You get top rated 24 by seven customer support, access to tools, including a website builder with over 4,000 templates. HostGator will even migrate your current site for free. Can you believe servers are 130% powered by wind energy? That's about as green as it gets. Unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, a 45-day money-back guarantee, and a $100 Google AdWords credit to market your website. And right now, for Revision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Go to www.hostgator.com and enter the code JADELSON at checkout to get your discount. Michael, I really want more people to start small companies. And if you're watching this show, you know, I, I know that there's all this hype, particularly around things like Facebook going public and Twitter and all these wonderful tech sites. But really, entrepreneurism isn't about the size of the company that you start. It's about the passion that you feel for the company that you're starting. Your question is really talking about uh, starting small companies as a means to an end to make some money and be able to sort of roll them quickly. But what I would love to see is more entrepreneurs willing to start small businesses, community-focused businesses, because I think that it's a wonderful thing to build a company that's based on fundamentals, can be profitable, bring in cash, support a lifestyle for you and a, and a bunch of employees indefinitely with no need to roll it into anything later, no need for some 
giant exit. So, you know, just as a, as a piece of advice for all of you out there who have an idea, but you think, wow, it's not big enough for venture, well, maybe that's a good thing. Okay, thank you again for joining us for today's show. Want more questions at askj at revision3.com. Please follow me on Twitter, at Jay Adelson, and send me all sorts of things on Twitter. I'd love to see more uh, comments and feedback. I'm getting lots of questions. I want to know what you thought of the episode and whether or not it was meaningful to you and what we could do uh, in future episodes. We'd love more feedback. Also, the YouTube channel is available for video responses. That's youtube.com slash askjadelson. In any case, thanks for joining us, and until next time.